because Allah cursed them in the Quran. Lanatullah ila al-kadibin. Wa man azlamu mimma niftara ala Allahi kadiban aw kathaba bi ayati. Who can be a bigger zalim than someone who lies upon Allah? And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man kathiba alayya muta'amidan falyatabawwa maqadaw min al-nar. Whosoever lies upon me deliberately has secured a reservation in Jahannam. Mirza used to say Allah's name, and the Prophet ﷺ named me Masih Mahmud. And he wanted to emulate Rasulullah ﷺ. And he claimed, because I followed the Prophet totally 100%. So I became a reflection of Rasulullah. So I am an image, a reflection of Rasulullah ﷺ. And because the Prophet ﷺ, one of his nikahs was performed in the heavens with the Zainab. Allah said to him, وَزَوَّجْ نَاكَهَا the Prophet had adopted his son, Zayd radiallahu anhu bin Harisa, and he had married him to one of his own cousins, Zainab bin Tajash. They couldn't get along, eventually they separated, and the Prophet felt very embarrassed because he had organized this marriage, and he loved his Zayd dearly as well, and his Zayd would always come and complain to the Prophet, Ya Rasulullah, she gives me grief, I can't handle it anymore. The Prophet would say, make sabr, sabr, relax, take it easy, one day he came and he said, Ya Rasulullah, I've had enough. That's it. Today I've, I've finished it off. And Rasulullah sallallahu felt very sad. And then Allah sent verses in the Quran. Zawwaj nakaha, my beloved Prophet. I have done your marriage with her already in the heavens. So Mirza said, because I'm like Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa There's also a girl I wanted to marry. And Allah has promised me and told me, Zawwaj nakaha, I've also done your marriage in the heavens. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went to the Zainab's house after Allah revealed these verses and there was no nikah made here because Allah had already done the nikah in the heavens. So she became the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's wife. As the Zainab radiallahu anha used to boast on the, in front of the other wives of the Prophet, your nikah was done here, my nikah was done by Allah himself. So thank you very much. <laughs> She used to boast over other wives of the Prophet ﷺ and they couldn't say this in the Quran. And the Prophet, she became the Prophet ﷺ's wives, uh, one of his wives. And Mirza said, my, my marriage has also been done in the heavens. And he felt very, once he felt very ill. And he threatened the girls, Muhammad Begum, her name was her father, that if you don't marry her to me, Allah is going to kill you. She's going to die, you're going to die, and you'll suffer, and you'll have all sorts of problems. And they said, oh, I don't care, I'm not giving you my daughter. <laughs> he found another man, his name was Sultan Muhammad, a patti young man. He was a soldier, and he gave him his daughter. Mirza got very upset. He goes, she's definitely going to die. Within two, within two and a half years, he's going to die. Within three years, you're going to die. And then before that happens, you're gonna be, she's going to be my wife. Allah has promised me, don't worry, inna raddu haileik. We're going to bring her to you. She's going to somebody else's house, but Nabi will bring her to you. Sultan Muhammad Apati, he, he fought in World War I and even had a bullet went through his head. He still survived. <laughs> he lived till 1948. Mirza, seeing the dreams of Muhammad Begum, died on the 26th of May 1908. Never did he get an opportunity even to put his eyes on her. Let alone marry her and bring her to the home. So people say, well, what happened? So the Qadiyanis, they say, well, Allah has already performed a nikah in the heavens with Hazrat Saab. So she is destined to be his wife in the Akhir. So the people, they said, well, according to you, she didn't accept him as the prophet, as the Messiah. So she is going to be in Jahannam and he is going to be in Jannah, supposedly, by your standard. So in order to marry her, he is going to have to go to Jahannam. <laughs> He'll, he'll be taking his bra there. And many a times what people decide, they like the son-in-law so much, they decide to keep him. <laughs> so if he goes to Jannam and the people, they like him so much, no, no, you must stay with us. We'll, we'll give you accommodation here. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar.